Hi, I'm doing another video on anxiety. And this is for when maybe sometimes you just don't want to look at it. You don't want to deal with it. And this is something that you can do. So maybe just to tune into how you're feeling at the moment. And then what I want you to do is keep, keep your eyes closed. I want you to imagine that you're going to put this anxiety into a box. So you decide what the box looks like, whether it's a big, heavy, reinforced steel box or you decide what it looks like. And you put your anxiety into this box. Does it have writing on the outside? Any handles? Does it have a lid? Are there any locks? Anything securing it? And really just have a good look at the box and see what it looks like. And then what I want you to do is I want you to decide where you want to put the box. So popular spots that I have come across are at the tops of the wardrobe, uh, under the bed, in the attic, or sometimes just placing it very, very far away. So you decide where you want to put the box. So I'm just going to do a little bit of tapping. You can use my words or you can use the words that describe your own box and just follow what I'm doing. So tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I have this anxiety, and I'm putting it into a box. This is a heavy duty cardboard box, and the corners are reinforced, and it's sort of a pale beige color. And there are holes on two sides so that you can lift up the box. And there is a lid that goes on top. It's a slightly darker beigey brown color and it fits very tightly and snugly on top. And I'm tying this up with a rope, really securing it tightly, with a big knot on the rope. And now I'm going to push it in a cupboard in the attic. And I know it's safe there. No one knows that it's there, except me. And I don't need to do anything with it. I can just leave it there. And when and if I'm ready, I can take it out and have a look at it. And I deeply and completely accept myself. I'm putting my anxiety into a box. It's a really heavy duty cardboard box. The corns are reinforced. And it's a pale beige color with no writing on it. And there are two holes on opposite sides. So you can lift up the box easily. And there is a lid that goes on top. It fits very snugly and tightly on top. And it's a slightly darker brown. And I'm tying it up with a rope. It has a good strong knot. So nothing's getting out of that box. It's all safely enclosed in the box. And I'm now putting this box in a cupboard up in the attic. No one knows that it's there. I'm the only one who knows it's there. And I know it's safe there. And when and if I'm ready, but only when I decide, I might take it out and have a look at it. 
But for now, I know it's safely put away. Put away in the attic. It's not getting out of that box. Safely and securely stored away. Nothing's getting out of that box. And I am safe. Okay, now take a big deep breath in. And out. And just to say, this is something you can use with anything. So if you have, for instance, an event that you're upset about something maybe that happened or a conversation, you can just put it into a box and just tie it up, put it away, you know, say, okay, look, I'll deal with that some other time because maybe you don't feel like dealing with that at the time. And, and I suppose this is something that I, I sometimes do with clients. And um, if, for instance, we come to the end of the session, usually means we've gone over time, but not all the loose ends have been tied up. So what we do is we safely put things into a box. And it means that although we might have been dealing with some difficult stuff um, during the session, we've contained it all so that the client is safe and they know that actually they don't have to worry about this. It's all locked away. And um, yeah, so that's so important to keep the client safe, have them feeling secure. So this is something that you can use. And as I say, you can use it on any uncomfortable feeling or any thoughts you have about an event or maybe even a belief. So I hope you found it useful and let me know how you got on.